Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Bradley number 5103 toilet tissue holder. This is all stainless steel with a hinged hood, and that white surface you see there is just the peel away protective film. This is all polished stainless, bright finish, and a single roll model with a chrome colored plastic spindle, spring-loaded spindle. Okay. Two screws are included for installation. There's two holes in the back. So for installing this, you'd have to have an adequate sort of um, structure behind your wall to accommodate the two screws. There is a link below this video uh, to the technical data sheet, which shows everything important dimensionally about this item, along with referring to uh, some options that are available. So first of all, dimensionally, the overall width of this item is 6 and 5 sixteenths. That is indeed the case. It's also 6 and 5 sixteenths tall. Correct. And overall depth, and I like to measure this material because I have found that there is sometimes there's you know there are unexpected changes. The projection they've got an inch and oh, pardon me the the depth they've got an inch and seven eighths. Flushing that off tells me that that's fairly correct. And outside it's going to be closer to yeah closer to two inch overall, inch and fifteen sixteenths. Okay. The center to center on the th on the two mounting holes back here is called out as three and three quarter, center to center three and three quarter. Uh, importantly, a rough opening dimension um, that you would need to know um, is indicated there under the heading of installation. Verify all rough in dimensions prior to installation. Requires rough opening of five inch by uh, wide, four and seven eighths high, an inch and seven eighths deep. So five inch wide. Let's check. So five inch wide. Let's check that. Just to put a reality check on this. Yeah, I'd be. I don't know. I might like it a little bit wider myself. Five inch wide. I mean, the tape measure is telling me that this is five a hair less I might be I might be I might opt to pad that out a little bit I definitely would because I put the tape measure on this and this is five and a sixteenth and probably pad that out a little bit uh, four and seven eighths height yeah I'd say that that is gonna look pretty good in terms of a height it's hard to it's hard to eyeball that but it looks like four and seven eighths would work real well I might I might cheat that height a little bit inch and seven eighths sure that's gonna work out real fine for you I think you'd want that to pretty much compress against the back side of that if you had it you know an eighth of an inch heavier I don't think you'd be in too big of a trouble you don't want to over tighten those screws obviously you'll deform the unit a um, couple of options a dash 52 will give you an anti-theft spindle which means you kind of have to exhaust the wall, uh, the roll, before you can get to the spindle, um, uh, and then it's you know there's a less than obvious way to to remove it. So you'd have to be really determined to um, to tamper with the unit. And of course, your dash 55, and that could be a very important aspect if you've got a drywall, a gyp wall, a hollow situation where you don't have anything to screw to. You're going to need the dash 55 because that will give you the big clamp that you'll slip in the wall and then the two screws from the unit will grab into the clamp and as you tighten it, the clamp comes this way, the unit comes this way and it sandwiches onto the wall um, is how that installation would go. You've got your, up at the top, you've got your other part numbers for your dual roll and your non-hooded rolls, you know, you, uh, dispensers without the hood. Uh, up to a five and a half inch diameter capacity for a, a roll of toilet paper, which is very, very typical. 
and just be sure that you're installing this in accordance with ADA regulations in terms of dimensions off of the floor before you go doing it. Uh, Bradley is a full line manufacturer of all things commercial bathroom hardware related um, and I am I'm a, I'm a Bradley uh, proponent. Their quality, their fit and finish is always very good. Um, I would not hesitate to use or specify them on any job. The only uh, wish I had is that their lead times were a little bit shorter. Much of what they do is made to order. Um, but their material is always worth the wait in my opinion. So if you can, allow ample time to get it in and, and there you go. If you have any questions on the Bradley number 5103 single roll hooded toilet tissue dispenser or any other Bradley item, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.